Hey, today we're going to talk about three methods to do surface crochet. Um, I'm going to teach you the surface single crochet, the surface slip stitch, and then the stitch I like to just call the surface stitch, which is really only useful on things that you can get to the back of. Um, the first two I use a lot in amigurumi, and the third is really great for things like wings or things that you can get to the back of the work. But you'll see why here in a minute. We're going to start out with the surface single crochet. And for that, we're going to work along a line here on top of the finished work. Surface crochet can go laterally across the spaces in between stitches, or it can go vertically and then it tends to either go at a diagonal, like this line here, or this line here or it tends to zigzag a bit, so like this. So it's much easier to do horizontally and it looks much nicer, so I'm going to show you that first. So in order to do that, we're going to start out with our loop on our hook and pull that a little bit tight. We're gonna pick up our work and insert our hook through the stitch that we want to start and up through the next one. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and finish that surface crochet join, surface SC join. So you're going to go down through the same stitch you just came up out of, come up through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, finish your single crochet. So down through the same stitch you just came up from, up through the next, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and you have a single crochet. Now you can see they face up. So they're facing up instead of facing the top of the work. So we're gonna do it again through the same stitch we came out of, up through the next, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, finish your single crochet. See? We'll do a few more. Down through the stitch you just came out of, up through the next, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. All right, to bind that off, you do it just like you would anything else. Cut your yarn and pull all the way through your last stitch and you have your surface single crochets. What's great about these is they add this awesome texture. So you can see it's raised off of the face of the work by a whole stitch. So it's a single crochet tall off of the work. This makes great um, nostril outlines for stuffed animals, eyebrows, um, ridges if you need them for like bones that tend to show underneath skin and amigurumi, things like that. It's a great addition in texture. When you want color but less texture, you can use a surface slip stitch. So we're going to start in a very similar way. We're going to put our loop on the hook and we're going to work along a line just like the last one, but this time we're going to go up through our hook. We're going to go up through our work, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to pull that loop through the starting loop. So to keep going on that, we're going to go down through the stitch we just made, up through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull that loop through the other loop on the hook. It's just a regular old slip stitch. We're just doing it on the top of the work instead of on a regular stitch. Down through the stitch we just came out of, up the next, yarn over, pull through, pull through the last stitch. 
right? Down through the last stitch we came out of, up through the next, yarn over and pull through, pull through the next, the last stitch. So you can see we've got our stitches going here. Down through the stitch you just came out of, up through the next, yarn over, pull through, pull that loop through the other loop on the hook, and continue on your way. Pull through, pull that through the other loop, yarn over, pull through, and then pull that loop through the other loop. So you can see how this is coming along. Again, our stitches are facing up on the work instead of facing the top of work. All right, and just like with anything else, we're going to bind off by just cutting our yarn and pulling that through all the way through the last stitch. And we have our surface slip stitch. Now you can see next to the SC that has very little height on it. So this SC has a lot of texture, sticks up a whole stitch off the work. The slip stitch does not stick up off the work barely at all. I mean, that's from the, the side. You can barely see it. So this is perfect for when you need to add stripes to something or color to something, and you don't need it to stand out. In terms of texture, you need it to stand out just as a stripe or as some color in between stitches. The third method for surface crochet, you need to be able to get to the back of the work. And this is why you don't see it as often during um, Amigurumi. I use this method on Vincent's wings, which is about the only place you can use it because his wings are a flat, solid piece and you can get to both sides of them. But for this method, and I just call this the surface stitch, you need to be able to get to the back of the work. The reason for that is that your yarn is actually going to stay on the back of the work and your hook is going to stay on the front. So we're going to go down through our work, grab the loop on the other side, and pull it through to the top. All right, I'm going to pull this slip knot a little bit tight here. Then we're going to go down through the next stitch, yarn over, and pull it up through the work. And we're going to slip stitch, so pull that through the loop already on the hook. So down through the next stitch. On the back side, you're going to yarn over, pull up, and slip stitch. Down through the work, yarn over, pull up, and slip stitch. Now, this one I find to be a bit faster. It also doesn't leave any ridge underneath for where you carried your yarn. So it is going to have a slightly more clean finish on it, but like I said, you have to be able to get to the back of your work for this method. So down through the stitch from the back, you're gonna yarn over, pull that up, and then pull it through the stitch already on the hook down through the next stitch, yarn over, pull it up, and then through the stitch on the hook. So we'll cut that one off and pull it through. All right, and you can see, so the, the surface slip stitch, you can still see the carried yarn underneath it where we, we had our yarn running across the top because our yarn was working on the top. But because our yarn was working on the bottom, all that shows on the surface stitch is the actual loops of the stitches, which can be nice and pretty and clean when you have the opportunity to get to the back of your piece. Now, the backs of these all look relatively similar. 
They're all gonna just be the underside of a stitch, which is just one piece, one strand of yarn each. So it doesn't really matter if you're gonna do um, two-sided, they're all gonna look about the same. But depending on what texture you want on the front of the work will definitely change which stitch you use. So again, this is the surface single crochet, the surface slip stitch, and what I like to call the surface stitch here. So there's your three different kinds of surface crochet. So go off and use those. Please subscribe to the channel and please check out hookedbykatie.com for more tutorials and lots of amigurumi patterns. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.